thousands from our area are expected to be part of that noon central time rally in Washington, where federal authorities will be on high alert. In Skokie, the start of a 13-hour road trip to send a message to the world. It's just a horrible thing on October 7th, and the world doesn't seem to know that, and we're going to make sure they do. Daryl Temkin of Deerfield, among hundreds here boarding buses for the nation's capital, where at least tens of thousands are expected to gather on the National Mall for a midday rally tomorrow in support of Israel. We are uh, rallying in D.C. because our nation's capital, so that we are leaders in this country here, the message loud and clear that we need our hostages home. I think a lot of people in the community are scared. A lot of people are hurting, and they want to express that hurt and express that concern. The rally comes as fighting intensifies between Israel and Hamas, parts of Gaza left decimated. This morning, protesters from around the Midwest, many of them Jewish, demonstrating inside Ogilvy Transportation Center near the Israeli consulate. I grieve for everything that happened on October 7th and everything that's happened since, uh, but there's no justification for anything that's going on right now, and uh, we need a ceasefire. As a Jewish person, we value freedom, safety, justice, liberation for all people, and that includes Palestinians. The four-hour protest ending with more than 100 people arrested. Back here in Skokie, a total of six buses departed for that rally in Washington. With tensions running high, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has designated the rally a level one security event, the highest category for risk assessment, though officials say they're unaware of any specific threats. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.